Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and I'm going to be looking at the AI platform Writer, R-Y-T-E-R, -E is it R-Y-T-R? R-Y-T-R, let's go ahead and share a screen. I'm on their website right now. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at Writer to, to write a blog post for me. So you may have seen some other videos. I'll link them in the description below of writing this same blog post, but in other AI platforms. I am on a mission to figure out which platforms are the best uh, for the different types of content that you can write. So one thing I'm noticing already is this website looks very similar to the Jasper AI website. And the reason I say that is because right here, it's flipping out different types of content that you would be able to use this AI platform for. Um, Instagram posts, um, profile bi bios for your profile, YouTube descriptions, blog posts are included in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start writing and then let's log in with Google and I'll make an account. Okay, so I logged in, made an account, and this is the page that I landed on. And the when I got here, a video popped up. So it was from YouTube, and I watched it. And I'm actually very excited to start dabbling in this tool and write this blog post. I'm very curious to see how it's going to differ from the same blog that I've written in the other platforms, Jasper, AnyWord, and ChatGPT. Reason being is because in this video, and I literally wrote it down, on my notebook um, is the gal in the video said that a uh, writer uses use case and AI enhancements for human quality writing. Now, I didn't think that the blog post that I wrote in the other platforms didn't sound human like. I think they sounded very natural, like somebody would have actually written those things. Um, but the fact that they called this out, I'm excited to see what we come up with. And then there's also some cool formatting options. I think once we generate the content that you're able to play with to shorten text and and to make text longer based on certain sentences. And so I think that will be a fun little feature to play with. So let's write this blog. The first thing you're want to, going to want to do is over here on the left, select your language. They do have multiple languages that you could write this blog in. I'm going to keep it in English. Uh, select the tone so you can pick what type of tone you have here. I guess my... Um, I don't know, suggestion here would be, I like that in the other tools, all of the other tools that I used, I was able to type in the tone that I wanted AI to write in, where these I have to select from a drop down. So just in case your brand tone isn't listed here, I'm not sure what you would necessarily do, probably pick something that's very similar to it. Um, but I don't know, if you had a specific word that you're Oops, look like I looks like I froze. Um, if you had a specific word that's not on the list, then you would have to play around with that to see how it came out. Um, the other thing that I don't love with the tone is that I can only select one option. Uh, and maybe I would want to put like joyful and funny or, you know, informative and funny or some, you know, informative and thoughtful, something like that. Um, but it looks like I'm only able to select one option for the tone. Um, so then here's where uh, that video was telling me that it uses the use case, case and AI enhancement. So you do want to make sure that you're selecting what it is that you're actually going to want, that you're actually wanting AI to write. So in this case, we're going with blog and I'm going to go ahead and click on, let's try both, but I'm going to try blog idea and outline first because I have noticed that if you ask AI to write the outline for you and then have it fill in the outline with specific information, it seems to write a better blog than uh, just going in and writing specific sections. So let's go ahead and create the outline before we uh, create the specific section. Um, let's go ahead and click here. Uh, okay, so you can enable keyword suggestions and um, SERP analysis just to make sure that you're hitting the right keywords. I like that feature, but for purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Um, the Some of the terms that I was writing for keywords in the other platforms were uh, new to travel, uh, first time traveler, we'll say. Um, Actually, you know what? I guess the primary, key, it's just one primary keyword it's asking for. So let's go ahead with and use this sort of title keyword. 
oops, I'm just copying it from my other screen that we were using for the other blog post. So I want the blog to be about top three must have items for every traveler. Now, another cool thing is you can choose the number of um, variants or how many different versions of the text gets written. So let's go with two just to compare something and then creativity level. Oh, let's go high. And let's click right for me. And then in the middle of the screen here is where our blog idea and outline should appear. And there it is. That was quick. So the blog topic, the must have essentials every, tra every traveler should pack before a trip. Cool. And maybe I could even add to this the three must have essentials, right? So then we have the introduction, keywords that you would want to include in the introduction. Very cool. Um, so we have lightweight and durable luggage, essential gadgets and accessories, comfort and convenience items. I will say in all of the other platforms that I used uh, to write this same blog, it was giving one specific product. So I guess three total specific products for these sections where this, um, yes, luggage is like one specific product, but this is essential gadgets and accessories. So in almost all, actually, in all of the variations of this blog that I've created, portable charger, adapter, and noise-canceling headphones have all been included as things to bring on this trip, but just a portable charger or just an adapter or just these noise-canceling headphones or just a smartphone. I like how it sort of grouped these essential gadgets and accessories together. Um, although depending on your style and how you write, maybe you really only want three things. So something different that I noticed for the first time using writer as opposed to the other platforms. Um, and also this is the first time I've seen inflatable neck pillow and I totally agree with that. Okay, so this is saying to write SEO friendly long form content, select each section heading along with keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. So this was one of the really cool features that I saw in the video that I had originally watched. So I believe what we want to do, select the heading along with the keywords. So let's go ahead and write a paragraph for this first section. So I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to click on paragraph and it's going to write a paragraph based on this topic and these keywords. How cool is this? I'm so amazed by AI. So let's see, when it comes to traveling, having the right luggage can make all the difference. Lightweight and durable luggage sets are becoming increasingly popular. These sets typically consist of hard shell suitcases. They come in a variety of sizes. With lightweight, you can rest assured your belongings will be safe and secure. Very cool. Now, um, another thing I saw in the video is you can write an additional paragraph based on just a sentence. So let's say these sets typically consist of hard shell suitcases that are designed to take a beating while providing ample storage space. So I'm going to select just this sentence and I'm going to click on paragraph again. And it should create a paragraph based on this sentence. Cool. So I'm making the blog longer simply by asking AI to write a little bit more for me. So it looks like it took that sentence that I highlighted it and made it its own paragraph right in the middle of that paragraph. So I really like that. The formatting is all uh, intuitive and just happens for you. Um, let's just see. Not like a super informative paragraph. Um, and that's interesting because I specifically said the tone should be informative, but it, it sort of feels like I'm repeating the same thing in this sentence, but of course use AI. I'm a fan of using AI to create this outline, to create a draft and then going in and editing it with your own expertise. So maybe you can speak to a specific piece of luggage or add an affiliate link or share what the luggage that you use as you travel. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is the rephrase. So they come in a variety of sizes ranging from small rolling to large check-in, allowing you the perfect size for your next trip. So I, I um, highlighted this sentence and I want to rephrase it. So I'm going to hit rephrase. And as that's going, I guess I'll just say in the other tools, you, you're able to rephrase things. Um, you would just ask, you just put in the prompt to have it, you know, like resubmit, I guess, the prompt and it would rewrite it for you. So this is kind of cool that you can spit, that you can pick specific sentences or words or phrases within the content that it's giving you. 
an error occurred, um, that it's giving you to rephrase the specific thing. An array of sizes available from which to choose. Cool. So I like that better. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is fun. So with lightweight and durable luggage sets, you can rest assured your belongings will be safe. So let's click on AI image. I haven't seen this in the other platforms. Although in chat GPT, I was able to ask um, AI what type of image I should insert there. So in that case, it gave me examples of what you would want to include, but here it looks like it's giving you actual photos and just putting them right in. So that may or may not be a good feature for you. Um, I say may not because if you already have your own photos, maybe you don't want to use the ones generated from AI, but if you don't have your own photos and you're able to just pop them right in here with the click of a button, how cool. That's a really neat feature. And then here's the second version that I asked for. Ah, here's what I wanted to, okay. So let's say this paragraph is getting a little bit long and you wanna shorten it. Let's just see what happens. If we select the whole paragraph, click more, and then Ah, okay, so I selected too much text. So let's just pick the first, you know what? Let's shorten the introduction. Oh, I didn't write an introduction. <laughs> okay, so let's do paragraph for the introduction. And then I can select the paragraph and it's still too many words. So let's see, traveling is an exciting experience for many, but it can be daunting to have to remember all the items. Um, this article will... Let's just delete this. We'll cover everything from clothing and toiletries so you can make sure you have all the best travel items. So did this, no, it's still a little long. So you can see I just selected it in 321. I need to go down to 300 words. Best travel items on your next adventure. Ah, still eight over. So I guess maybe I don't love the shortened feature because I'm sort of shortening this myself without AI doing it for me. Um, but maybe I just need to take like a sentence at a time. So traveling can be made easier by making lists this, to ensure all necessary items are remembered. Cool. So another feature that I like in here that uh, Jasper also had is that you can play around with the heading, the, the fonts, um, the for, I guess the formatting of the article so that, that when you're ready, when it's all in the place where it should be, you can just simply put, um, copy and paste it into your publishing site um, wherever you're posting the blog so that you don't have to reformat it in there. It's already done right here. So this is Writer. I would say I'm a fan. Um, again, I would recommend a tool like this for somebody who's just starting out with AI. Maybe Writer is even a little bit more basic, more intuitive, more user-friendly than Jasper and AnyWord. Um, and I guess I only say that because once you get your content here in this document, you can start highlighting specific pieces and then ask it to, what is command? Custom text generation requests. Okay. So th then you can choose the specific feature uh, or like thing that you want it to do. Whereas in chat GPT or open AI, you have to reprompt it to do these things. Um, like for example, Hey, write the outline. And then you have to ask it to fill in the outline where this is just uh, creating the outline. And then you're able to, with a click of a button, fill in that outline. Um, the thing, uh, the things that I don't love about it though, is that again, you can only select one tone and maybe that's it. I think I like everything else about it. Um, I really like the image option that you can just pop in an AI image right here. Um, and then let's see, I can open it in a full window so I can see it bigger. 
reopen it and get right back to work. So yeah, I like this, I guess maybe a little bit better than Jasper because like I said, it's a little bit more intuitive, but also in Jasper, when I popped it out to its own document, I had trouble going back to the AI and figuring out how to add things in and change things up where here it's super easy. You just highlight and then click the command. So two thumbs up writer. I really like it. And we will come back and keep playing more uh, with this platform. Thanks. Thanks so much everybody for tuning in.